Hey everybody, JR Species here with another random pack break. Now this is going to be part four of the the other ones that I had done. Um, so we st still got packs in this box. Uh, it's just a random assortment. You know, we're looking for Jeters here. I never even opened these stickers before, so we're checking those out. We're looking for some inserts right there. Maybe Hall of Famers to get graded. Uh, Hall of Famers in the 88 Donruss, like uh, Glavin, Robbie Alomar. Um, who else in that one? I mean, there's other guys in there, but who else is worth getting graded? There's Mark Grace in there, David Wells, rookie. Uh, anyways, oh, Edgar Martinez in there. No, he's in the traded. I got some of the old Topps Bigs. These right here, surprisingly, can do very well in a PSA 10. They are tough to get in a 10. Got an 89 Fleer with Barry Bonds on the top. We're going to be looking for the, the Billy Ripken uh, or the Griffey rookie also. Let's see, you got uh, Schmoltz, Vizio, uh, Griffey, Johnson... Who else? I don't know. Anyways, 88 tops. We've got the Glavin rookie in there. Here's some 13 update. Those are the five card uh, dollar store packs. 93 Fleer. And I got an 88, 89, and an 86 rack pack. So let's go. A little quick here. See if we can't get any cool inserts in this Fleer. Or Derek Jeters because he's our dude. My dude. I don't know if he's your dude, but I like him. Okay, Aaron Boone. No more. Gosh, you para. Oh, there's a Ichiro. That's a second year. Headliners. That right there might be one worth getting graded. Slightly off center left to right, but we will check it out later. Jose Ortiz, Joe Mays, Mike Hampton, Dave Martinez. Some crappy advertisement. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching all my videos. I appreciate it. You know, I, I spend a lot of money on stuff to get to, to rip and grading fees and boxes. Bud Smith. Uh, let's see. Steve Kent. Fenway Park, Trevor Hoffman, he's a Hall of Famer, Mike Sweeney, okay, nothing there, super awesome. Alright, for some reason my flash has just been turned off, and I don't know why. <clears throat> my phone said it was turned off, and I don't know why. Anyways, that's okay, because I have a light behind my head. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on a second, guys. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I had to pause my video and cool my battery down. I think the light behind me was uh was shining I think we saw all these right shining directly on my um I maybe mean, didn't shining directly on my camera and it uh hey, there's a rod I think it heated it up too much yeah, there's a Bud Smith Reggie Sanders Chris Carpenter Sweeney okay anyways let's go here so where was I Thank you guys for watching my videos and showing your support. Please uh, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. There's my man, Derek Jeter, slightly off centered and a little, you can see it right there in the light, a little ding right up here. Uh, yep. So that one will not be getting graded. It kind of stinks, but what are you going to do? David Bell. Okay. Nope, that's all the. Oh, there's one more here. All right, last one, guys. Then we will move on. Oh, I used to love Ray Ardonias, because you guys know I'm a Jeter fan, but I'm a Mets fan. Daryl Kyle, rest in peace. Carlos Pena, he was pretty good for a minute. Messina, Hall of Famer. Okay, what else we got here? We got one. These are here mixed in. Okay, 94, Series 1, Baseball. Let's see what's in here. What are we looking for here? Ah, maybe a great gold card. I don't know. Lee Smith, Hall of Famer. Nice guy. Met him. Got his autograph. Back in my super New York show days. When I was kind of, you know. This is Kevin Brown. Satchel Page leg kick. When I was doing lots of big shows with lots of signings and helping a promoter. And getting tons and tons of autographs. Which I still have all of them to this day. So... Gary Reedus. Okay, nothing super great in that pack. Let's see. Let's check out these bigs, man. These are pretty cool. These are, I think these are 90s, but they may be 89s. Let's see, these are 90s, yeah. They all kind of look the same to me. Uh, let's see. Limpke, Bob Guerin, Jody Reed. I love these cards, actually. Carlos Martinez, Daryl Strawberry. See, they're off-centered. That's why these things go for good money and high grade. They're just plus they're so big, and they're in those those um, plastic packs that are shrink wrapped, and the corners get touched. And Bert Blylevin, Robbie Thompson, 
These are good ones to get signed too, but you gotta baby powder them first. You just gotta make sure that they don't, uh, because if they got a glossy surface, then they, the ink won't stay on it. It'll bubble up and you're gonna lose all the cards. So this one here, looks like it's been exposed to some kind of element. It's kind of extra tacky. I think they might, no, they might be all right. But look at that, the Schmidt card has lots of paper stock missing because it was from the from the, the package. Schmidtster, another Schmidt, Dave Schmidt. Another straw man. Love Daryl, met him a couple times, super cool guy too. Bobby Bo, we just had Bobby Bo Day recently, so he got his million dollars. And John Farrell, you guys know him as a manager. Okay, last one. I think these are here in 90s. No, these are here in 89s. That last pack there. Yeah, 89s and 90s. And let's see here. This pack is a little bit better. Okay, and these ones are here are 90s also. Spike Owen. He has a few good, decent years. Mark McGuire. That's pretty cool. I love these cards are cool, man. Like nobody likes them because they're oversized and blah blah blah. King Griffey Senior. Bo Jackson and Donnie Baseball himself. And I'm gonna have to turn this off again. So hold on a second. Alright guys, sorry I'm back again. My apparently my camera got too hot and my flash didn't want to work. Alright, so I got the lights off and just using this. I think the light might have been hurting it. All right, back to opening. <clears throat> Let's do uh, this one right here. See if we get any luck with uh, with um, Griffey's or uh, Ripkins. A lot of people don't like to open up these packs if they got a star on top, but I don't really care. Oh, you could also get a uh, um, Randy. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> that is freaking awesome. I never pull Griffey rookies, and I've pulled two now on these uh, four pack breaks. That thing's centered pretty friggin' well, too. That's really nice. So that'll go to PSA. I'll keep it in the pile so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, also, as I say, the Randy Johnson in here has different variations. Uh, and uh, the problem with that one is it's got a Marlboro ad in the background. So, uh, depending on the variation, some of them can be worth quite a bit of money. So that was freaking cool, guys. I'm so glad I got this all on camera. That's two Griffey rookies. And, and, and literally... I only have one pack of 1989 Flair. That was it, one pack. And it was because the Bonds was on top, and so on and so forth. Fly 11's a rookie. These are here are decent to get graded to, these inserts, old inserts. David LaPointe, he's from uh, near where I'm from, in New York. I'll show you here, he's from uh, Glens Falls, New York, right there. And hopefully that was all on can uh, centered, because I didn't realize I'm kind of slightly off-centered. All right, well that was freaking awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go on to let's do 93 flare. Let's get, let's get some of these one of packs out of the way. Let's see, we can get a Piazza in here and have that graded. Gosh, these, these packs are just tough, man. Those, those those tightly wrapped plastic ones. I don't like them. I'm afraid I'm gonna damage a corner or something like that. Nothing too good. Al Newman. Something I always knew about him was his career total for home one runs is one. <laughs> I think he hit an 87. 86. One and only home run. And I don't know if it was even out of the park or not. It might have been an in the parker. The guy clearly had no power. Eric Davis. Uh, I met him in Cooperstown. In fact, he sat next to me at a at a uh, diner. And I said, hey man, after we came out, I said, can I get a, a picture with you? And he's like, because I was there for Hall of Fame weekend, and he's like, oh man, no, I gotta go. I was like, oh, come on, man, you know. He goes, man, I just got, I flew in here from Arizona. I'm tired. I go, dude, I literally just drove here, straight here from Utah. I go, so I win. You flew, you had a four hour flight. I said, I had a two day drive. He's like, all right, man, come here. So he took a picture with me, and, and it was awesome. So he was cool, but okay, 88 Donruss here, looking for the, the uh, Glavin. If I can get my fingers in here. Looking for a Glavin rookie. Okay. All right, Glenn Hubbard. I love the uh, Diamond Kings in here. Uh, I saw that one come in there. Let's see. I love getting Diamond Kings graded. Eric Plunk. Ron Darling, my man. Met him 
couple times. In fact, he shopped at my uh, my table at a signing one time. I was set up and helping out with the signing, but he came over and was looking at my old 86 uh, magazines, 86 Mets magazine, because he was uh, obviously on a team, but he was there for an 86 Mets reunion show. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Oh my, what in the, what the heck is this? What the heck? Are you guys... Alright, if you know what this is, guys, comment on it. What? I, I have never seen... They I, they didn't do memorabilia or autograph cards back then. This is crazy. And it's a one one What is this stuff, though? Game-worn underwear card? That is... That is unheard of and ridiculous. So... I don't know what's stranger that I got a memorabilia card out of an 88 Donruss or that Melito Perez wears that color underwear. That stuff is shiny. Autographed. Authentic autograph. And it's a one on one. You guys, what the frig? I can't believe it. I, what? Has anybody else ever pulled a memorabilia or an autograph card out of an 88 Donruss pack? I, I've opened a billion of these things. Probably not a billion, but I'm pretty sure there's a, like over a billion made. Uh, they said that there's more 88 Donruss cards printed than any other card ever. I'm going to check the pack, guys. What do we got here? Large diamond. Large diamond can't. Okay, no, that's not it. Oh, right there's the odds, guys. Check it out. Game worn auto odds. One in a hundred and twenty million packs. So that is definitely a tough pull, guys. That is a tough pull. Oh my gosh. I am just freaking out right now. I cannot believe I pulled. I mean, these are way ahead of their time. I mean, but look at the underwear that he wore. I mean, these are flashy. These are like totally 1980s, you know, New York City clubs. I mean, he was a Yankee for a minute, too. Gosh, guys, look at that. Game-worn underwear. I cannot believe Melito Perez wore these kind of, I don't know, lucky underwear. Maybe he wore them because they're lucky. I have no idea. I don't really care. It's a one one This baby's going on eBay. Holy crap. All right, guys. This one's got to go back here in the background. We're putting that right there. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe it, you guys. I'm, like, still in shock. Like I'm, I'm freaking, like, I'm shaking right now. Mike Sosha, Bill Buckner, rest in peace. He died in Boise, Idaho. I was there the same day he died. No, I had nothing to do with his death, obviously. Poor guy had dementia, but that was a bad joke. Obviously, I had nothing to do with it, but I was there the day he passed away. And rest in peace, Bill. Thank you for helping the Mets win the 86 World Series, because you guys know I am a Mets fan. Dave Maganin, great signing through the mail, really nice guy. Andy Van Slyke, there's the MVP card. You guys, I am still in awe that I just pulled... I mean, has anybody ever even looked at the back of these? I didn't even know if they had odds for autographs and stuff. Game worn auto odds one in 120 million packs. That's ridiculous. I'm saving this pack just so I can compare it to other ones later on. You guys, I think we may have just... That may be the only one ever. 120 million packs. Okay, there's how many cards per pack? 15 cards per pack. Okay, so 120 million times 15 would be, uh, let's see, uh, I'm not great at math, actually I'm pretty good, but off the top of my head I don't know, but it's roughly, uh, what, 1.7 billion cards printed? So that would make that, if they did do a billion cards of the 88 Donruss, then that would make it roughly, uh, you know, only one in the existence of the entire print run. 120 million packs would be, yeah, about, I think about, times 15, about, what, 1.7 billion, I'm guessing. 88 tops, guys. I think I just pulled the holy grail of 88 Donruss, you guys. I didn't even know those existed. Tim Raines, that's a, actually a pretty nice little off-center top to bottom. And, you know, 88 tops isn't worth a lot of money, but I really love them. I love the nostalgia. Andres Galarraga, you guys, I can't believe it. Al Leiter, rookie, he did pretty well with the Mets. Um, oh, there's another Mets. Sid Fernandez, I loved him. The big Hawaiian. Loved him, man. Honolulu, Hawaii. I love Sid. He was kind of chunky, but I just loved him because <laughs> he's a Matt and he's good. Tony Gwynn, rest in peace. All right. Here's a good example of when guys got traded. Instead of whatever, they just airbrushed the hat. So he was on another team <laughs> before this picture. Uh, so he probably took this picture in a minor league 
uh, hat or something like that. So spring training or something weird, I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I can't believe it. Look at that gum stain. <laughs> at least it was on the wrapper, not the card. <sighs> you guys, I need you to throw a like on this video. I mean, if for anything, Melito Perez. I mean, look at that beautiful autograph, too. Okay, 2013 Tops update. Hugh Darvish, right on the back. That's his second year. 12 was his rookie. Pedro Alvarez, All-Star Edwin Encarnacion, Ioannis Cespedes, Aaron Harang. Okay, nothing great there. Wouldn't it be sick to just find, like, an old box of 11 update? I don't even know if they made them for Dollar Tree. But 2011 update, five card packs like these are here. We can pull some Altuve's, and some Paul Goldschmidt's, and uh, you know that one guy, Mike, Mike Salmon. No, Mike Trout. Sorry, whatever his name is. I don't know. Just kidding. I love Mike Trout. He's my dude. Him and Jeter. Love Aaron Judge, Chris Bryant, Bryce Harper, my friend uh, Dan. Uh, this is cool. An, an insert right on the top of the pack. That's weird. Uh, Strikeout Kings, Randy Johnson. Yeah, if it's, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's not going to be a PSA candidate. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not, it's not perfect. Okay, let's try to pull a nice uh, Piazza out of these guys. A nice Ripken or something like that. Magadan again. I hated it when he left. I love Magadan. I used to, I used to try to copy him when I was hitting balls in my backyard. He had that very still almost like a robot or a mannequin stance but the guy could hit man it's good first baseman and he could hit so yeah, I loved upper deck or I'm sorry flare altar when they came out in 92 they were really nice looking cards and then 93 had a nice product Jeremy Burnett's great ball player you know could be Hall of Famer type guy uh, wasn't with the Mets very long there's a Hall of Famer Mr. Dave Winfield. Uh, saw him in Cooperstown. I was at the golf course getting autographs like I always do. And I was the only one there um, trying to get his autograph. I was by myself. He was playing golf by myself. I, said, Mr. I was yelling, Mr. Winfield, can you please come over and sign for me? Can you please come over and sign? And I chased him for three holes down the road. I was wearing way too much clothing. It was about 100 degrees in Cooperstown, New York. And he just kept ignoring me, ignoring me. And he finally got to the last hole. And he's putting, and I'm like, come on, man, I've been chasing you this whole whole way, you know, can you please just sign a ball for me? And uh, and then as he's driving away, he yells, get me in town, get me in town. And I was like, come on, man. And in town, they're charging $79 for his autograph on a ball, so 80 bucks for an autograph. So I was like, I think you're missing the whole point of this uh, coming here to get autographs on the golf course. But I got lots of other autographs from guys, and... I was trying to be polite and I wasn't being obnoxious. I just, you know, he knew what I was there for and I just said, you know, can you sign for me please? And and uh, he didn't though. And I didn't get him in town because I have a hard time paying for autographs because, I mean, I understand that that's how these guys make their money outside of after baseball and stuff, but Sandberg, these are kind of almost sticking a little bit, so that one's got some cardstock missing. I understand all that, but Kurt Schilling, cardstock missing, this one's stuck together. But, uh, I mean, if I pay, I can't, I don't want to pay $80 for an autograph. I mean, his ball, I can buy a signed ball of his with, with the ball included for about 30 bucks. Why would I buy a ball and then pay 80 bucks? I mean, it just doesn't make sense economically, you know, as far as, like, investing-wise. And I don't sell them. I mean, and there goes my flash again, so hold on a second. Alright guys, sorry about that again. <laughs> it's the first time my phone's ever gotten hot like that and uh, I lost my, um, my, my, uh, wow, what am I saying? Flash. My light. Anyway, so, Mark Witten, he's a huge douche. Jose Canseco, I got his cell phone number and I'll be doing a private signing with him soon. Um, I'm trying to get into the autograph promoting. Uh, I've been involved in it for a long time but I was never the promoter. So now that I've, you know, have I'm older and have a little bit extra expendable money, I want to try to get into it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start wrapping this thing up because uh, my my video is being weird. Or my video, my phone is. Sorry, I, I cannot talk and uh, 
do this, do cards. Like my brain's like, I can't do, it's kind of like walking and chewing gum. Here's those stickers. Todd Helton, he was a great, uh, great ball player. Could be Hall of Famer. Pedro Alvarez, David Reese. I think these are 2013s. Yeah, 2013s. I'm going to quit opening those upper decks because they were starting to stick and that's just annoying for me. So, <laughs> I'll, go, I'll do these and then I'll do that 86 Topps Rack Pack. Al K Line. Super great. Uh, Alfonso Soriano, he's cool. I met him when he was in AAA. Uh, back in New York. I was at the Syracuse Scratchers game. He was playing for Scranton. No, he was playing for Columbus then. Columbus Clippers. And then I signed like, gosh, he signed like tons and tons of cards. He signed like, uh, I think I had about uh, 25 rookie cards in a ball. Mostly 99 tops traded. Oh, and like I was saying before, uh, Cindy Koufax, uh, I don't sell my autographs. I don't hound the guys to the point of being annoying. I ask them, hey man, could you sign it? Oh, I, you know, oh, I don't know if you were ignoring me or if you just didn't hear me, but I was asking you if you could put mind signing a ball, blah, 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 whatever. So, and then if they, they just say no, then I just leave them alone. Um, so, it's like once Dave Winfield finally acknowledged me, I was just like, all right, dude, whatever. So, okay, let's check these out. 86 tops traded. These are great cards to get graded. Uh, this is probably the worst way to obtain the cards <laughs> if you want to get them graded because rack packs are notorious for getting corners dinged up because just because of the way that they're stored and stuff, you know. Even in the boxes they shuffle around, but if they're ever, ever hanging on a rack, they're really going to get damaged. These ones are here were not because that's unpunched. But just being tossed around in the box, you know. But centering's an issue, obviously the blackboard. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't want to cover up my awesome Melito Perez. Uh, one in 120 million packs card. But I got a Cecil Fielder rookie. There's another one I've never pulled out of a Topps pack. So that's pretty pretty cool. This is a good one to get graded, too. So that, that, that used to be the most expensive card in the set. And these, are, these aren't in bad shape. You know, I mean, they're basically near mint to mint. You know, just these these top edges and the edges, they just get chipped up so easily. But I will be looking closer at slab cans and these right here. So, George Brett, that's pretty cool. It's probably just a solid near mint eight, unfortunately. Pack fresh, but Bill Buckner again, rest in peace. This is the year that he helped my Mets win the ball game. Win the World Series. Well, win a game to go on to win the World Series. They had a Wade Boggs. This is a pretty good pack, guys. You got Brett. I got a Buckner, you know, who was a lot better baseball player than people give him credit for. Uh, Brett Buckner, Boggs, and uh, Cecil Fielder, rookie. Yeah, I like the. Obviously, 86 Mets, man, I love the 86 Mets. I was just so big into the Mets in the late 80s, mid late 80s, man, when I first started becoming a baseball fan. Brett Saberhagen, second year. There's a Pete Rose, one of those timeline things that they did of him. They're the first six cards in the set, I think. Terry Francona, great manager. Tony Fernandez, great ball player. Tom Seaver. Yeah, see these these cards are just nice pack fresh, but you see that corner right there, it's just not sharp enough. And that little bit of white's gonna drop it. Buck Martinez, Bobby Ojeda. So Bobby Ojeda, 86 card, but he was on the 86 Mets uh team, so 85 was his last year at the Red Sox. He got traded to the Mets. And the, so his 86 card is a Red Sox card, but uh 86 season, he played for the Mets. Golly. I'm trying to do this without damaging the cards. Alright, hold on. I have to get my giant butcher knife out. There we go. Michael Myers style here, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling, guys. Yeah. Some other years you can open these things up here really really easily, but these things are here are not like perforated or nothing The 86's aren't. Okay, there's our 85 all-star glossy Dick Schofield Danny Heat 
he was an 86 Met. Met him at the sh couple couple different 86 Met reunion shows I I was helping out with. Julio Franco loved him on the Mets. End of his career, but man, the guy was still good. Mike Scott, great pitcher. Um, just had a short short career, you know. I mean, if he was dominant for more years. I mean, he could have seen some serious Hall of Fame consideration. Tony Pena, Charlie Huff, a guy that looked like he should have retired in his rookie season and then played for a million years. I think he played for 24 seasons? 20, I don't know, it was, it was over 20 though. Bob Boone, all right guys. Anything else here we want to open up right now? I don't think so. I'm going to hold off on the rest. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I uh, just want to show you this one more time. Most amazing pull of my life. This would be the rarest pull, toughest pull in the history of pulls. One on one, game worn underwear, autographed Melito Perez. These are really neat underwear, too, actually. Alright, guys, you have a wonderful day. Stop back again. Go check out my buddy Dan at Hard R Cards and subscribe to him if you don't mind. This baby. Hey, drop a drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think this thing's worth. All right. I mean, it's a, it's the most true one on one of all one on ones. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think it's worth. All right. Hey, thanks guys. Have a great day. I really appreciate your support. Bye.